Howdy folks, Das here and I'd like to show you number nine in my video. What's in my bucket? Now it takes a pretty big bucket to hold a bunch of big flutes like this. This is my D major pentatonic bass flute. You can consult my previous video on that. This is just showing you what I have in stock now. Now that video also shows the alto version. Now on that video it shows the alto one with my four hole variation. This is actually my favorite flute. The D pentatonic, major pentatonic in D. Now, the four hole variation is really sweet, the essence of simplicity. Since then, I've modified it a little to I offset these two holes and I put a thumb hole. That gives you the extra octave note. You could slide up to it, you can drop down from it. Ready? Ready for that slide? See? So your thumb, instead of just sitting around on the back doing nothing at all, being lazy, we, we make it work a little bit. It's got to work to earn its keep, so we got a, a hole for there. So I've got the four, uh, four hole variation here, and this is the five hole variation. As you can see, they come in very different specimens. I usually don't make any two things the same. We got some with nice bindings. We got solid dark with the nice long nodes and some little branches going on here. I like to make my flutes look like they came out of a 5,000 year old tomb that was just opened up or something. And of course, do you know a crooked man who plays a crooked flute? Well, I do. And this is very, very rare for me to get this kind of a specimen. And uh, I have a number of these in my master prototype collection. Very nice. Crooked. I don't think anybody in the world makes crooked flutes like that. So, my video shows the bass and the alto, and here's what I got in stock at the moment. I got some little sopranos. They're really, really sweet. They fit in your pocket. You can take them camping, hiking. of sweetness. So we got different specimens of those. We got some interesting stain and oddball specimens going on here. Now that's D major pentatonic. I'd like to introduce you to a new model. It's the same scale, major pentatonic scale, in India it's called Rag Bhupali. Now this is in D and now here it is in F sharp. Now what this is, it's the black keys of a keyboard. So if, if you have any keyboard players in your family or in your band, you just tell them, hold the sustain pedal and just play the black keys and it sounds beautiful. Very nice. So this is the alto version and we also got this version. Uh, this one's got some funny things going on here. A little bit of branch action. Now, this also, like what I said about the four hole and the five hole variants with the foam, I also have that going on here. We've got these guys with four holes. Very, very simple thing here. Nice. And then when you add the thumb hole, you get a whole another expressivity level. Watch that, you wiggle the thumb, get a rubber note. Yeah, these things will hit, they'll hit the third, third octave there. So anyway, that's my favorite tuning, is the major pentatonic. We're offering it 
with my previous video in D and the new model, which I will make a separate video while playing it along with keyboards. And we have this in F sharp and this is all these different specimens I have available. I've got these really wide bore dark ones that have a huge fat sound. And we've got the little bit of a thinner, really old, really dry specimen. This has been dead and cured in the field for years before I pluck them. And uh, what I found is that flutes made from bamboo that dies naturally actually sounds better than flutes that were cut alive and cured artificially. Anyway, that's all besides the point. This is my series of What's in My Bucket! Keep clicking on the other ones and check out what I've got.